This young British MEP has barely had time to get comfortable in his new job in Brussels, but as Brexit looms, he's already packing his bags. Elected to represent the UK's Green Party in elections in May, after just seven months, Majid Majid's European dream is over. I can choose to be really sad and be like, oh my God, I can't believe we leave, you know. Right, but it, honestly, there's nothing to gain from that. Do you know what? I still think maybe in the future we'll be back in the European Union. Maybe I'll have a bit more grey hair, grey beard, but it's, um, I'm, I'm quite hopeful. For some, Brexit could mean the end of their political career. Labour MEP Richard Corbett is a well-known figure within the European Parliament. He's among 73 Brits who will have to throw in the towel on January 31st. I was first interviewed on this very bench 20-something uh, years ago, so, and so to come back here in a way to end it off is, is a very special moment. The next few days I'm packing up my boxes, I'm making sadly my staff redundant, um, I'm beginning to think what I might do for the future, but I've not decided yet. Just a few offices away, the atmosphere is very different. Claire Fox, a Brexit Party MEP, actively campaigned to leave the EU and is enjoying her last days in Parliament, victorious. Of course I'm pleased because now I feel that people will at least feel the first day just happened. You know, we will have technically left the European Union and we decided to do that a long time ago. So, of course, I'm relieved at that. 27 so-called cold storage MEPs, also elected to Parliament in May, are due to take some seats vacated by the Brits on February 1st. And while the future relationship between the UK and the EU remains up for negotiation, one thing is for certain. The days of British representatives in the EU's halls of power are over.